How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has finally just dropped iOS 26. But a lot of people have one big question. When they open their iPhone settings and go to software update, they actually see iOS 18.7. There's no iOS 26. Only if you scroll down, you actually see it under also available iOS 26. But then if you have two options, what should you do? Should you update to iOS 18.7 first and then to iOS 26 or it doesn't matter? So how does this work? Well, let me explain you in a very quick, simple way. Let's get started. Okay, so you have probably noticed that when you open up your settings and then go to general and then you open up software update and then let it load because it generally takes a while, especially today, right? So it's checking for update as you can see. And when it loads, there's no obvious sign of iOS 26. Instead, we see iOS 18.7, very big, very large here, and iOS 26, very small, right here at the bottom. So how does this actually work? Why do we have two choices? And it's super simple, guys. Apple decided to implement this pretty much a couple years ago, and they decided to go this way because they decided to give you a choice, an opportunity to choose which OS version you wanna stick with. So you have option number one, which is stick to iOS 18, and in this case, update to iOS 18.7, which is a brand new version, which was released today, but it's still iOS 18. Or of course, go ahead and update to the major new software update, which is iOS 26. So no, you don't need to first update to 18.7 and then to 26. If you want to, you can go ahead and go straight to iOS 26, no problem at all. But I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, okay, but why those two versions? And it's super simple. Apple realized that a lot of iPhone users actually don't like to update to major new software updates, especially if they have slightly older devices. So they wanna stick to iOS 18 in this case, but of course, they wanna be protected. They wanna get bug fixes, security updates, and they wanna be safe. So that's why they give us two choices, the possibility to stay in iOS 18 if you want to, which is still updated, it's still safe, so you'd be okay with iOS 18 if you want to, or of course, go ahead and get the brand new major software update. I actually have a full video on this, explaining why if you have an older iPhone, you shouldn't go to iOS 26 and you should stay in iOS 18, which is exactly this that we're talking about. And I'm gonna leave a card right here, link in the description. And please keep in mind that when I say older iPhone, I'm talking about an iPhone 11, SE2, and 12 series. So I super recommend that if you have one of those devices that you check it out, all right? So if that's your case, if you wanna to stick to iOS 18, go ahead, tap here on update now, type in your passcode and then update normally. And you're gonna be safe, no problem. And you're gonna stay in iOS 18. Now, if you wanna go ahead and update to iOS 26, which is what most people want, you tap here on upgrade and then update now. Again, same process, it's a normal software update. You don't need a computer or anything like that. You're gonna go straight from here. And in my opinion, my recommendation is don't update to iOS 26 now, regardless of your iPhone, even if you have an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Just don't, because iOS 26.0, which is this version, even though it's not a beta anymore, right? It's an official version, uh, it's gonna be buggy. It's gonna be the first version of a major software update. So my recommendation to everyone, especially those who don't wanna get any kind of trouble or headaches or anything like that is, update to 18.7, stick to it for one, two, three weeks until next month, and then when we get iOS 26.0.1 or 26.1, that's a good time to update. Or of course, you just stick to iOS 18 if you want to, especially if you have an older iPhone, right? So that's pretty much it. That's the explanation of this whole dual software update choice. Hope this was helpful to you. Hope it was easy to understand and hopefully you have no questions anymore. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye guys.